In this example, we're going to take a look at solving this equation, and we're going to do so by using a u substitution and by factoring. If this is something you would like to try on your own first, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work a solution together. Alright, so using a u substitution, we can go ahead and take this down a couple of powers. Instead of having x to the fourth and x squared, let's make this more like a quadratic. And so we can accommodate this by saying u equals x squared. And what's going to happen is it's going to convert this equation instead of x's, we'll have u's. So it looks like 2u squared minus 5u plus 2 equals 0. All right, so how did we just do that? Well, if we said u equals x squared, well, that's pretty obvious because this x squared right here becomes a u. But what about this x to the fourth? Well, if we were to square both sides of this equation, we would have u squared equals x squared squared, so 2 times 2 is x to the fourth. And so here is the substitution that we used. So the x to the fourth became a u squared. And now for the moment, we have a strictly quadratic equation that we can solve by factoring. All right, so we'll notice that this leading coefficient is 2 instead of a 1. So we'll use the AC method to factor this. And so if you are not uh, clear or not sure about the AC method, down in the description for this video, I'm going to go ahead and link to a video dedicated to the AC method where you can learn more about this method for factoring uh, quadratic trinomials. All right, for now, though, we're going to take the 2 and multiply it by the 2 and make 4. So factors of 4 are 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. But of course they need to add to make a negative 5. And so we'll be using a negative 1 and a negative 4 because they multiply to make a positive 4 and, and add to make this negative 5. So we will split this middle term, this linear term, up into two like terms. So I'll have 2u squared first. And these two like terms will contain the negative 1 and the negative 4 as coefficients. So we'll say negative 1u minus 4u plus 2 equals 0. And at this point now, we can just do factor by grouping. So the greatest common factor here of this first pair looks like just u. So I'll have 2u minus 1. And then it looks like we'll have a negative 2 here and we'll have a 2u minus 1. And our leftovers here are the same, which is very nice, so let's factor those out. So I have that 2u minus 1, and then a u minus 2 equals 0. So when I use the uh, zero property multiplication, I'm going to see that 2u minus 1 equals 0, and u minus 2 equals 0. So my values for u are positive 1 half and positive 2. All right, but these are values of u not of x. So I'm going to go ahead, to, go ahead and uh, go back substitute here. So I know my u was x squared, so I'm going to say actually x squared is 1 half and x squared is 2. And now I can simply use the square root property for both sides, but of course when I do that I'll need a plus or minus on these, you know, sides without the perfect x squared. And so I'll have x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 half, which really is the square root of 1 over the square root of 2, which, you know, we're going to fix this up a little bit. It's going to be plus or minus 1 over the square root of 2. We'll take time to rationalize this denominator by multiplying by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And quickly we'll see x equals plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2 for one of our solutions. And it looks like the other one is just going to be a lot nicer. It's just uh, plus or minus the square root of 2. And so we'll go ahead and put them all together right here. So we have four solutions for this uh, quartic equation that we started with here. So right up here. We use a nice u substitution. And we went ahead and solved it by factoring. And we factored using the AC method. And then we had to back substitute. Once we knew what u equaled, we needed to put this x squared back in from our original substitution. And we see now that x equals plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2 and plus or minus the square root of 2. And those will be the four solutions for our equation.